Oh, this is a small one. I don't know if all the welds, most of the CJP joints are UT'd, so they're clean, no porosity, like a uh, fusion, anything like that. Um, and the failure rate has been extremely small. We've been very pleasantly surprised. These are ready to go. Before they're the... Uh, oh, the really? Okay. In the... So when we handle these on the burning machines, they give us added efficiencies on burning. And then in welding, better deposition and a cleaner weld when we're connecting joints. So uh, when we started receiving material from you guys and from our suppliers for this project, this, uh, this uh, building was stacked very high. If a part gets holes in it, we'll drill the holes, then burn out the actual part out of the raw material. This saves on secondary operations. It's easier for us to uh, program and uh, throughput through the manufacturing process is much uh, quicker and uh, quality is usually much better. Okay. Imported yeah. into here and it can cut what I would normally do by hand, by laying out and, and hand cutting. This does it all automated with a robot arm inside there. It burns out all the shapes. Uh, it has been a key on your project. Back here's a, a spider sub-assembly uh, that we're working on right now. About other projects together. Right, right. You know, Next some time of it's maybe them calling you saying, "Hey." Right. <laughs> uh, the thickest material that we've formed, actually bent, cold, was three and a quarter inch thick material. Granted, it was only about this wide but we had the power to make a, make a bend in it. So, um, you know, we can do 30 feet of three quarter inch or like a 20 millimeter, or the shorter it is, um, we can do thicker as well. I would say 90% of the people here at Weldall have been able to touch or have uh, some kind of input in, into these projects. It's, so it's a big company deal for us. It's, it's not just one department or a certain amount of people. Uh, next, we burned them out. Next, they'll go on the machining center. We deck them. There's a tremendous amount of holes in these, some bevels, and then there's some uh, subparts that bolt on this side and that side. Forgings that we saw. Yeah. Here. So, um, What's that? I think that's four and a half. Like four or and <laughs> you know, Tim mentioned the challenge. When we originally finished welded the 11 sections and with the you see the tall posts that are welded on there and we had to line it up in a free state and, and get measurements across each post of 504 inches from the center point of the pad and the tolerance in a drawing was a sixteenth of an inch over about 48 feet. So this is a typical I-beam part which goes into one of your assemblies and you can see the amount of burning and how critical it is that this matches up with the next one to nice. just follow along with what Dale said of making the tolerances that we need to do. We call a rear room for a, uh, a, joy, a joy mining uh, excavator. And what we do here, we build the weldman itself and then uh, our customer Joy came along and asked us if we want to do some value add where we put uh, the electrical cabinets and all the electrical wiring into it. Uh, it's been a great collaboration, uh, something that we've learned quite a bit and, and the guys here really uh, did a good job. Um, but these guys are dedicated to this customer. Now, I made the comment before that all departments have pitched in on the Nassau projects, including this department. So we do, of these transformers, we do like one a day. It's about five a week, or very four to six a week. And, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like that. We nailed it within 17 thousandths, a 64th, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's something that, that, uh, you know, these guys are capable of doing, mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Fit up well that, 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 that
And you'll, you'll see over here, all these are sub-assemblies. So what we try to do is, is uh, attack a job in all the sub-weldments so we can put a lot of people on it and then they all come together in a final assembly. Welding's been approved through a third party that is contracted by NASA, non-destructive testing specialist. They've done the UT, they've done the visuals, they've done all the weld inspection. It doesn't, it doesn't move till that approval is given to us. Then and only then does it go to stress relief. And then it comes back to here. So when y'all have it fully assembled, what's the dimensions on it? No, um, I'll just say 50 by 50 80. feet by 70 feet, roughly. Yeah. And it's flat, probably within about a sixteenth of an inch. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So then we have to put it back together and achieve that again. Get that back.